Hello, welcome to the Fundamentals of Video Game Design and Programming, Episode 2, Managing Files. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how to manage the files that exist on our Windows computer so that we can effectively start our very first video game. I am your instructor, Mr. Art Williams. This is a program brought to you by Youth Decoded. Youth Decoded is a signature initiative created by DeKalb County Government Human Services through the Office of Youth Services. Created to bring education in the area of computer science and coding, Youth Decoded is dedicated to ensuring that DeKalb's youth receive access to innovative programming that will assist in educational growth and career curiosities. What is a file? Well, files are data. And in the simplest form, a file is nothing more than a bunch of data made up of specific content that resides on a computer. Now, we, we, when we jump into the video game world, um, we're primarily going to work with three different types of files on our PC. The first file are our audio files. Whether we're trying to create a, a special effect, we're trying to create theme music. All of these are files that would need to be downloaded, moved around, and imported into our game. The second type of file that we'll be working with are image files. And as we spoke of in episode one, once we have an image inside of our game, we call these images sprites. Uh, static images and, and, and animated images are called sprites. Before we get them into the game, they're nothing more than image files that need to be manipulated. Thirdly, once we've created our game, we've saved it, the game engine Construct 3, or whatever game engine you're using, will generate a file um, with an extension correlating to the type of game engine that you're working on. We'll talk about extensions in one second. Uh, so as we look at the structure of a file, uh, we're going to see that it is comprised of two different parts. The first part is the name, and the second part is what we call the file extension. Now, the name is pretty self-explanatory. We are always naming files. Um, and then the second part, the extension, is typically made up of three letters, um, and preceding the letters is what we call a dot. Um, and in this particular example right here, we see MarioJump.jpg. Now, we're going to come to uh, understand that anytime we see the three letter extension JPEG, it's referring to a graphic file, and in fact, or an image file. And in fact, uh, the name should give a more clear indication of what kind of graphic file. So here we have it. We have an image graphic file, and as the name suggests, suggest um, it is Mario. When we think about the number of image files that are available to us, um, there are quite a few. But here are some very common ones we typically run into uh, when we're manipulating them for our game. Uh, we have the JPEG, we have a PNG, BMP, and the GIF, which we call GIF. These are image files that are very commonly used uh, within our games. Now, when we talk in terms of audio files, again, whether we are creating special effects, booms, bangs, um, or whether we are uh, importing music that we've created, we're going to um, come to understand that these file extensions are synonymous or are linked to audio files. So OGG, M4A, MP3, WAV, all are audio files. In Construct 3, whenever we finish our game and save it, Construct 3 will create um, a C3P extension that attaches to the name that we've called our game. And so anytime we see uh, an extension that has C3P, we can bet for certain that this is a Construct game. When we open this C3P file, what we will discover is a construct project, a game that um, we have been working on or someone has been working on. So 
The next question that um, I want to pose and I, or I want to answer is what exactly or how exactly do we manage our files on the Windows operating system? So let's go ahead and, and get started. All right. And when we need to gain access to our files, we're going to have to go ahead and look on what is called the Windows Explorer. Um, they now call it File Explorer. All right, so there are two ways to gain access to our File Explorer. The first way is simply by looking for this icon, this folder icon, at the bottom of, of our uh, menu bar here and just clicking it. And here is the Windows Explorer. The second way, if you click on your Windows icon and you go and look for Windows System, which is all the way at the bottom, look for Windows System, click on Windows System, and then you'll see right here it says File Explorer. And it opened a second window for File Explorer. And so that will wrap up part one of how to manage files on your PC. In the next episode, episode three, we're going to look a little bit more uh, in terms of how we manipulate files, uh, move, copy, delete, how we add folders, um, as it all pertains to setting us up to create the video game that uh, will blow the world away. Once again, thank you for joining us uh, for episode two, uh, part one, uh, managing files on your PC. Youth Decoded is a product of the DeKalb County Government Human Services Department, brought to you by the Office of Youth Services. For more information on services, please contact Musette Hill at mhill at DeKalbCountyGA.gov.